Now we are going to discuss about how to display a purchase order. So displaying a purchase order, if you have the create purchase order, you can display from there also. So you click on this other documents and you can find which purchase order you want to see. And here, if you see this is the purchase order, it will open in change mode. Now, if you want to display, you just click on display and that's the process. Okay. So if you notice, there are different tabs. You can see this is the type of storage location. It's being saved. This is the plant. Now, lots of times you might say, hey, I cannot see. I want to see the plant number. So in this case, you just need to select display key. Once you do that, then the plant number shows up. Okay. So this is just a setting. It's not nothing that SAP is angry with you. They don't give you the plant number and all those things is based on your personal setting. So some of the time you, you can change all this personal set settings. Okay. And this is pretty useful. Okay. And here uh, we have already discussed these default values that you can put. Okay. Now another thing that you can do. So let's see if you want to see another purchase order. You can just select this and you have different search help option. So here we will be searching with the supplier pump. That's what we have. And we just double click and this is another purchase order that we have. Okay. Now if you notice there is a purchase order history. So the purchase order history tells you what are the type of material documents that has been created. So if you see there's a goods issue being done, which is the movement type uh, 351 and then there's a goods receipt that is being done. So here, if you notice, there's 10 quantities. I did a goods issue and then I did a goods, a goods receipt. So so these are the stuffs that uh, that can be displayed in the purchase order. We don't have the release strategy set up. That's why we don't have. But here you can see the status of it. It's ordered and we have delivered 10 and there's nothing to invoice because this is a stock transport order. A stock transport order doesn't have anything related with invoices. So that covers everything related with displaying a purchase order.